So several astronauts are finally coming home nine months behind schedule. A SpaceX capsule left the International Space Station overnight, and it is scheduled to splash down off the Florida coast within the hour, ending this mission that was only supposed to last eight days. Mark Strassman has more from outside the Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas. 17 hour flight back to Earth means for Butch and Sonny, their space odyssey is almost over. The astronauts took some final photos together before boarding their SpaceX Crew Dragon capsule and undocking from the ISS just after 1 a.m. Eastern time. Four astronauts and all are inside, three of them Americans, all of them now heading home. It'll be a mostly quiet flight back orbiting the Earth every 90 minutes until the final hour. The spacecraft will detach its no longer needed trunk section, which has its solar panels, then slam into the atmosphere at nearly five miles per second, subjecting the heat shield to temperatures up to 3,500 degrees Fahrenheit. After a brief communications blackout, two sets of parachutes will deploy, slowing the capsule down to just 15 miles per hour before it impacts the water. A SpaceX recovery ship will be waiting nearby. Butch and Sonny will splash down this evening just before 6 p.m. Eastern time in the Gulf, about 70 miles south of Tallahassee, take a helicopter back to shore, then board a NASA jet to fly them here to Houston, where they'll arrive late tonight. They went to space for eight days and ended up staying for more than nine months. They orbited the Earth more than 4,500 times and traveled 121 million miles. While none of those marks is a NASA record, Bush and Sonny will return to Earth as arguably America's best known astronauts. Millions of people have followed their story, their delayed return, their overall space saga. But now they are heading back, back to Earth, back to Houston, back to their families. Mark Strassman, CBS News.